Welcome to New Issue Income Allocations in Penny. In this video, we explain how Penny manages new eligibility categories for investors to participate in a fund's new issue income. These new categories are based on Regulations 5130 and 5131. Specifically, this video will show you how to classify investors into these new eligibility categories. You'll also learn how to create additional eligibility categories for investors as needed. And we'll view a new report that details the calculation of the new issue allocations. We have lots of helpful information for you, so let's get started. So what's the scoop on Regulations 5130 and 5131? Basically, they state that investors can be classified into two new eligibility categories related to new issue income. Investors that can receive up to 10% of the fund's new issue income and investors that can receive up to 25% of the fund's new issue income. To keep in step with these regulations, we have enhanced Penny by adding these two new categories for investors. Penny uses these categories when determining the investor's participation in new issue income and creates allocations based on them. Penny also validates that investor participation limits aren't exceeded to avoid the pitfall of small investor over allocation. So what's your part in all of this? Don't worry, we've made it easy for you to use this new functionality in Penny. First, you set up a fund to use our calculations for new issue allocations. Then, you classify a fund investor in an eligibility category. So let's take a look at Penny and see how we do this. Using the Fund tab, we select Setup, Funds, to display the Funds window. Now we search for a fund and click Edit. Here we've added an option for you to tell Penny that for this fund we want to calculate new issue allocations. We enable this option and click Save. The fund is now set to calculate new issue allocations. Now we're ready to classify a fund investor in one of the new eligibility categories. Let's show you how we do this. Back on the Fund tab, we select Setup investors. Search for the investor and click Edit. On the Details tab, we display the new issue menu. By default, Penny now has four choices of eligibility categories for the investor. 10% which means the investor can receive up to 10% of the new issue income. 25% which means the investor can receive up to 25% of the new issue income and eligible and restricted which you're already familiar with. Now let's say you have an investor that doesn't fall into any of these four eligibility categories. Well, we plan for that too. Penny now lets you create an eligibility category. In fact, the example on our screen contains a created custom eligibility category. Let's take a look at how to create an eligibility category. Back on the Fun tab, we select Setup and New Issue Types. We see the four default categories available in Penny. As mentioned, in this case, we can see that a non-default category has already been created.
click Add. And here we define a new issue type category with a code and a description and an eligibility percentage. Then we save it. Now let's just verify that this new category is available for the investor. We go back into the investor screen and in the new issue menu we see the additional category. Note that the category is now available throughout Penny, meaning it will display on this new issue menu for any investor that is calculating new issue income allocations. You can take a close look at how new issue allocations are calculated in Penny with a new report. Let's take a look. Under Fund, Period, we now have a new issue allocation report. We'll use the default report criteria for now. And here we have our new report. Each investor is separated by eligibility category. Restricted, 10%, 25%, and eligible. We see the investor's capital balance the allocation percentage calculated based on the investor's participation, the maximum allocation each investor can get, their current capital percentage, and what percentage is used for their new issue allocation. Keep in mind that the allocation is only created if the fund is set up to calculate new issue allocations, a feature we looked at earlier. If an investor's capital percentage is less than their maximum percentage, then the capital percentage is used as their new issue allocation. If their capital percentage is greater than their maximum percentage, then the maximum percentage is used as their new issue allocation. You can also see these allocations on the Investor Income Report. Under Fund, period, we select our Investor Income Report. Again, we'll use the default criteria to display this report. We see that the Investor Income Report shows how much new issue income is allocated to these investors. And you can see that the new issue percentage for this investor matches on the new issue allocation report the new issue allocation percentage calculated for the same investor. Well, that just about wraps up our video on the new issue income allocation functionality in Penny. If you'd like more information on setting up this feature, please contact your client relationship manager. Also, remember that our help topics have a wealth of detailed information and calculations. You can access the help at any time by pressing F1 on your keyboard or selecting help from the window menu. Thanks for watching.